Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today I'm going to show you how to join your yarn using a magic knot. If you have a softer fiber, a natural fiber, or a slippery fiber, be careful of the magic knot because if you can't pull it really hard, it can come apart later and we don't want that. But for acrylic, it is super easy, so I'm going to show you how to do it. So take your old yarn and just lay it out straight. Take your new yarn and lay it parallel. Take your new yarn and put it over your old yarn and poke it under. And we want to make a knot with our new yarn, just like that. So shrink it down and give it a nice tug, just like that. And now take your old yarn and lay it across your new yarn, tuck it under, and make a knot with your old yarn, just like that, and snug it down. Now take your new yarn and your old yarn with your knots in between, in between your fingers, and pull. So we're going to pull the old yarn and pull the new yarn, and those knots just slide together. And now give it a big pull. If your yarn is going to break, you want it to break now, because you can always redo your magic knot. So give that a really hard tug, and also tug on your tails. Make sure that each of those are snugged down as much as they can. And that's why this works really good for acrylic, because you can really pull it. And now pull it again with your working yarns. Now you can take your scissors, holding everything straight, and just cut off those tails right at that knot, just like that. And there is your magic knot. So then after you've done your magic knot, we just want to put it in a spot where we're not going to see it. Do you see how it's like right in the front of our stitch? So now we can adjust our stitches to get it a little more up into that stitch. You can just take out a couple stitches. So I'm going to make my stitches with more tension to give me more space before that knot so I can get that knot worked up a bit farther in my stitch. So just more tension and now I'm at my knot just like that and like that. So now it is in the back of my work. So that's how you can put your magic knot where you can't see it. Just adjust your stitches. So I hope you enjoyed this class. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell beside that. So you don't mess out on any more quick and easy crochet classes just like this. Thanks for hooking along. We'll see you in the next class and stay hooked.